Midjourney has just released updates to its image editor, now enabling you to edit any image, even if it wasn't originally created in Midjourney. You can now expand, crop, repaint, add, or modify elements in a scene with ease. However, these features are only available on the Midjourney website and not through Discord. Due to the tool's capabilities, you'll need to agree to the terms of service before using it. It's currently available only to select community groups, including users who have generated at least 10,000 images, yearly membership holders, and monthly subscribers for the past 12 months. To access the new editor, click the Edit tab on the left sidebar. The interface allows you to edit an image from your computer or via a URL. The editor has two main tabs, Edit and Retexture. Under the Edit tab, you'll find the usual tools such as Move, Resize, Erase, and Brush Size. There's also a new Suggest Prompt feature, where Midjourney will generate a prompt based on the image you upload. We'll get to the Retexture tab later. Let's jump in. I'll be using this image of a cat I downloaded from the internet, but remember, you can use any image, even ones you take yourself. Let's start by giving the cat a top hat. First, I'll adjust the brush size and erase an area big enough for the hat. Be sure to select a space large enough for the modification. I'll keep the prompt simple. A cat wearing a top hat. You can also expand the canvas in any direction, though full cropping is still not an option. If you're unfamiliar with Midjourney's editor, I've made a full tutorial in this video. As usual, four results were generated, and I like them all. Next, let's place this cat on a couch. I think I'll erase part of the bottom of the image and expand the canvas to make room for the couch. Most of the results didn't include the couch, and in one that did, it blends into the background too much. So, let's try again, this time erasing more, expanding the canvas further and centering the cat horizontally. Now these look much better. There are a few more settings that can be adjusted, like the image scale. An aspect ratio, which can impact the scale of the image. To view all the edited images, click View All. You can select one of the results or start editing a new image. Edited images stay in the editor and won't appear in your gallery unless you upscale them to it. You can also download the unscaled image from here. Now, let's try editing an image from a URL. I found a nice picture of a horse on Pixaboy, but before grabbing the URL, I'll find a reference image for the style I want to use. Remember, while editing, you can adjust various settings, including image references, style, and image-to-image -image options. I created some vintage Christmas scenes and I think one of them would make a great background for the horse. I'll use this one. To get the image URL, just right-click the image, click Share and Save, then copy the image URL. Head back to the editor and in the prompt box, type Control V or Command V to paste the image. Now I need to grab the address of the Pixabay image. Click here, then paste into the box. Since I want to replace the entire background, I'll increase the brush size and erase most of the image. Don't worry about removing too much of the horse. Mid-Journey will automatically fix it. I'll keep the prompt simple, but I need to make sure the input image is set to style reference. The results are exactly what I wanted though a few of them make it look like the horse is missing a back leg. I'm curious if this can be achieved with the Retexture feature. Retexture will change the contents of the input image while trying to preserve the original structure. The difference here is that you don't need to erase any areas. I'll keep the other settings the same. 
The new images are fantastic. As you can see, the editor works well for removing or replacing backgrounds and images. Let's stick with the horse and try retexture without using an input image. This time, I'll change it to a horse in a field at night. These results are also impressive. Each image is darkened as expected, though some more than others. One even added cool colors to the horse. If you want to keep the horse's original brown color, try adjusting the prompt to a brown horse in a field. And it worked. Let's try using an image created in another generator. Here's my Leonardo feed, and I'll use one of these images. I'll grab the image URL, but you could also download the image and upload it directly to the editor. I have a nice image of a little girl in a magical forest, but I think it could be better with a magical mushroom. However, none of the generated images include the mushroom. Let's try using the Suggest Prompt feature it added the prompt to the box, and it's quite accurate. I'll add the additional details manually at the end. Still, no luck except for one image with a small green mushroom. I'll give it one last shot, this time specifying the location and color of the mushroom. Success! Each image now features a magical mushroom. Next, I'll try adding a cute bunny rabbit. Only one image included a rabbit, so I refined the prompt to a white bunny rabbit. And now every image features a rabbit. You can also use images created in mid-journey with the new editor. To access it, right-click on the image, then select More and choose Editor. The old editor will appear, but if you want to use the new one, click Open in full editor. Let's experiment further with retexture. I'm aiming to give this a vintage goth look, so I'll add that detail at the end of the prompt. The pose is perfect, but the character looks different in every image, and the goth aesthetic isn't really coming through. I'll try removing the original prompt and focusing just on the vintage goth details. The images look fantastic, the original pose is preserved, and the vintage goth style finally shines through. However, he still looks like a completely different person in each image. If you ever struggle to maintain character consistency while retexturing, try adding the original image as a character reference. You may also need to adjust the character weight until you achieve the desired look. Lastly, I want to try something different, turning a coloring page into a colored version. I used an image I created in mid-journey, added the prompt colored in, and used the retexture feature. Three of the images altered parts of the original, like the door or front yard, but the third image came out nearly perfect. It looks just like the original coloring page, only colored in. I also tried different coloring styles, like watercolor, and ink gel. Wow, these new mid-journey editor updates are really exciting, giving us the freedom to upload any image, edit, or retexture it for totally unique looks. This was just a first look, but I'm excited to dive deeper into testing these new updates, so stay tuned for more. Please share your comments below and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.